Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Destiny 2 Beyond Light video. Today we have a, another quest guide for you for Destiny 2 Beyond Light, which is going to give us one of our new aspects for our new shade abilities. Now, first thing first, we're going to need to complete the whole campaign mission of Beyond Light and then head over to the Exo Stranger. After we talk to the actual stringer, she will have a quest for us called Born in Darkness. The first part of the quest step is we need to energize Ether, collect it, and stasis melee final blows. All right here on Europa. So, with this, we basically just need to use our stasis new abilities and get those kills as well as stasis melee kills. And then work on with this next part of the quest step. Should be pretty straightforward, just head into Europa, hit up some public events, kill some regular enemies, and the next part of the quest that will pop up, which will have us doing some strikes. So head into the Vanguard Strike playlist, we need to complete three strikes, as well as get 60 kills with targets that is affected by stasis. So you can use your abilities or you can actually use the new exotic grenade launcher which we actually need to use for later on in this mission. After you finish that, the next part of the quest that will pop up on the screen, and this time we have the platoon to defeat, ladies and gentlemen. It will pop up right here on the map. It's going to be really easy for you to find right here in the Eternity. So we're going to head into Sharon's Crossing and just highlight that on your map, and it's going to take us to a lost sector where we're going to have to take out this guy right here. So this is how you get to it. About midway to the map, you're going to highlight it like I said, and it's going to be very easy for you to find it. So we're going to start about midway through the map. You should know where this is at by now. But if you are a little bit confused, well, that's what this quest guide is for. I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for you. It's a lost sector, ladies and gentlemen. Just follow the quest marker, and you're going to end up right here. After you take out the Lost Sector boss, well then the next new step is going to pop up. And we need to take a skeleton key to the extra stringer in the Bunker E15 Lost Sector right here in the Eventide Ruins. So we're going to be right here on Europa. Once again, just highlight it right here on your map. I'll show you exactly where we're going to need to go. So this is the Eventide Ruins. There is the Law Sector emblem. It's so going to be right inside of there. You need to go all the way down to drop into this Law Sector. So let's do that. We're in the Eventide Rush and we are about to head into the Law Sector where we need to talk to the XL Stranger. Once again, just head all the way down. This is where the Lost Sector is going to be located. A jump up uh, right here, get your Mario jump on, and then head on down. Now, this part of the quest step is rather easy to do. We're in a Lost Sector, but if this is your first time, you may be a little confused and might get turned around a little bit. Don't worry, you're in the right spot. There'll be a lot of lefts, a lot of right turns, so like I said, you can easily get turned around and you may be a little lost, but this is the Lost Sector. You're in the right spot. Now, after you finish completing the Lost Sector, there's a little passageway that's going to open up right in the back, and here is where the Exo Stranger is going to be located. So, once you're here, just go ahead and talk to the Exo Stranger. It's going to be about a minute and a half of dialogue, and then after that, she'll disappear, and the next part of the quest step is going to pop up, which is we need to regroup with the Exo Stranger. So, let's head back to the Exo Stranger once again on Europa. We're going to talk to her, and she's going to give us the next part of the quest step, which is going to change. It's going to change to Aspect of Control Step 1 of 2. From here, we need to visit the Drifter in the tower and complete the quest, the Stasis Prototype to acquire the Salvation Script. If you don't know what that is, you should see something pop up on the screen. That is how we're going to get this exotic rocket launcher. We need to use this to hit those little Dorito-shaped triangles up, and that is how we're going to get all five of these done. So, one, two, three, four, five. This is how we're going to get it. We're going to start at Sharon's Crossing 
and we're going to head to the very first location now all of these are going to be quite a bit of a journey and i don't want to get you lost so i'm gonna come in a little bit with the commentary but for right now i'm gonna just go ahead and shut up and let the music play those are the doritos that we're going to get after we need to get five of them now we're just going to hit this with the grenade launcher like so that exotic and boom we're done just like that remember one two three four five we need five of these bad boys and i'm gonna take you through each of these so for right now i'm gonna shut up and let the music play enjoy Okay, once you're over here in this location, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be traversing all the way up, and that is where the second shard basically is going to be located. Here it is, right here, ladies and gentlemen. Pull out that exotic grenade launcher, hit it with that stasis ability, and we are done with the second one. Now we're on to the third part to get that fragment. And we're going to get our aspect abilities once we are done with this. Number three is going to be located in the lost sector right above where we're just at. Right there is where we we're just at. All right, let me show you where we at here on the map. We are in the Astron SS. We need to go into the void. Now, this is a familiar place. If you was checking out any of my other videos, this is a lock sector that we need to head into. All right, so head down right inside of here to the concealed void. This is another lost sector, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to need to traverse all the way down. And that next little fragment will be right here, all the way up. So just hit it with your stasis ability once again. And boom, we're done once again. All right. Now, we're on to number four, ladies and gentlemen. Starting once again from Sharon's Crossing, we are headed all the way to where we need to go. Now, this is quite a trick, ladies and gentlemen. So once again, I'm gonna oop, zip it, let the music play in the background, and I'll come in to the key part where you need a little bit more information of what we're doing. See you soon. ladies and gentlemen here's a little shortcut that I normally take you can jump up right here and if you jump up with a little little slip right here in between those bars you can actually just jump up you don't even have to go down here on the bottom just want to just throw in my two little cents right there to save you a little bit of time if you are doing this on your second or third character all right I'll see y'all a little bit later on after we travel up that elevator ladies and gentlemen right behind here will be a little dorito it's very hidden though very very hidden all right that is cool one two three four here's number five heading from the same location we're going to hit this little portal right here all right all right we're going to warp right inside and then we're going to head straight over to where we need to go once again it's a little bit of track so I'm going to be quiet, let the background music play, and I'll come back in on the key parts. See you soon.
All right, we're back in the main room where we're gonna use our grenade launcher on the final fragment, ladies and gentlemen. If you're still here, congratulations. You got all five of the fragments and we're almost done with this quest step. From here, go ahead, pull up your map and we're gonna go under quest. We're gonna look at what we need to do. Part two of aspect is to return the crux of the darkness to its location, which is actually located where we got our exotic grenade launcher. We're in the same room right here, ladies and gentlemen, except for things are gonna work out a little bit different. We're gonna commune. Once we commune, is gonna be a ton of enemies. I mean a ton of enemies that is going to spawn in. Now, after you take out, I would say it's maybe five waves of enemies, it's gonna end up with an overlord. After you take him out, you are done, ladies and gentlemen. Head back over to the fragment, commune one more time, and boom, you are done. You have your very first aspect stasis that you can plug in to use in your abilities. How cool is that? Something new in this new season of the hunt. So in order to do this, go under your new shade class ability. And right here, we're gonna have a new thing called aspects, right? Here is where we can apply stasis aspects. This is gonna change our super's ability and stuff like that. Make it a little bit more personal. Here, once you use your stasis ability, it's gonna shoot out little fragments, which is absolutely amazing. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another step-by-step -step guide right here at Carpo Gaming. This one is gonna get us our first stasis fragment, and that is pretty freaking cool. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you truly enjoyed it. Once again, if you are new to this channel, hello and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpo Game, and I upload a wide variety of videos, ranging from updates, tips, tricks, glitches, news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. But if you didn't, yo, know, that's still cool. I hope you and your family are still having a wonderful day. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and your support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.